I know you're lying to me. I know you're lying to me. What? This one's a banger. Y'all, today is gonna be a good day. But first, I have to show y'all something so ridiculous. It's just a side note. Give me like 20 seconds, bro. By the way, who heard that Kendrick drop? Oh boy. <laughs> now what bro is about to do is wild, but look at how the father operates. My main problem here is why did he try to whoop his face? Why? What happened to aiming for the thighs and butt? You decided to whoop his face? Honestly, the father just he got what he deserved there, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Honestly, this made me want to start posting Try Not to Laugh. How y'all feel about that? All oh, music and tracks in this video game are copyright free. Looking out for the content creators out here. Thank you so much. Y'all. I can't believe it. But we are on the final episode of Fears to Fathom. No. 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 This one is called a Whitbury Getaway. Now, this series has been going for a while, bro. Like, it, it, it's only like five episodes. But the first one I played was some years back, either two or three years. You see all the names on the list are updated now. It's no more question marks. This is the final Fears to Fathom game. I don't know if Ray LL, you know, the developer, is going to make more games after this, but bro you're very talented should you not make a game after this you did a great job with this series and if you do i'm gonna play it Thanks. but without further ado i'm sure you have at least one question on your mind go, go ahead go ahead and ask me mikey what's the game about man i'm so glad you asked sydney harper a 23 year old working at a consulting firm plans a weekend getaway to a Woodbury rental with her college friends. Oh Lord, it's a girl's trip. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Little did she know what was about to unfold during their stay. Oh, we have two user reviews so far. Absolutely. Are y'all just haters? Come on! Let's get this here. Let's get this here. Let's get this here. Let's. <laughs> Here's to Fathom. Episode 5. Woodbury Getaway. December 8th. Three days after my birthday, as a matter of fact. Oh, they don't have the little... I needed coffee to get done with the day. Well, they opened this one up a little bit different. You know, normally it's like the black screen with the text that gives you a little bit of lore about the, the game and whatnot, things of this nature. Dude, I cannot work a job like this. Oh my gosh, this, nah, my anxiety is kicking in, dude. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? There's no one else in this office clocked in at all. Um, okay. You said you wanted some coffee, right? You ain't even say nothing about chips. Let me, let me stop being a plate destroyer, bro. I saw some food and just grabbed it. Water out the tap is nasty work, bro. It'd be having that fluoride in it. To each his own. Whatever makes you happy, I guess. Hey. The coffee look red. Or am I tripping? I'm definitely tripping. It's just a, it's just a shade. I'm suspicious of everything at this point. I know you're lying to me. Ugh. Brother, ugh. That is the most disgusting pizza that I have ever seen in my life. This is why I don't like veggie pizzas, bro. Like, what's the point? Are you really putting that into your mouth and letting it go through your intestines, bro? No, man. That mess looks so trash. Look, to anyone who's eating a, a, a veggie pizza right now with, what is that, spinach and feta cheese? I wish you the best, bro, because you're, you're taking care of your temple at the expense of your taste buds. Health is wealth, though. You need to use the rest. You took one sip and you already have to be. 
<laughs> okay. Okay, everything is questionable right now, I see. Do I? Okay, you know what? Let's find a restroom. Now, at bare minimum, we aren't able to sprint right now, which gives me a little bit of comfort. I know we at least are, don't have to run from anything. Uh, We're playing as a woman too, right? Are we allowed to walk in the men's bathroom? Oh yeah, see, <laughs> it won't even let us, bro. <laughs> Nah, nah, a woman attempting to use a urinal is diabolical work. Oh, man. Oh, dude. I couldn't do it with the door wide open, but you can do it with a cup of coffee in your hand. You're kind of insane. I had to put the toilet seat. I mean, I, I know that. The P. Hold up, hold up. That does not sound like a feminine voice. It sounds like a man is in here. Grab his dick and twist it! Ooh, this has got to be a nightmare scenario for a woman, bro. A mysterious man walking into the bathroom that you're in. You're just a janitor. Okay. Okay, dude. Why your face looks like... You know, I'm I'm not even gonna roast you. You're just doing your job, bro. The, carry on. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I didn't know you were in here. Um, it's okay. I like to clean late because it's pretty quiet at this hour. You're working late again, huh? Yeah. You young folks sure do put in the hours. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Hey, you too, man. Be safe. <laughs> okay, bro. Bro's just chilling. All right, I see you. As a matter of fact, do we even flush this toilet? I don't know. I'm going I'm to let you figure out, bro. Anyway, like, here's the crazy part about women's public bathrooms. I heard it be looking nasty in there sometimes. Crazy. You know, if I was a woman, right, and I had to go to those bathrooms that don't have urinals, I, I don't know if I could deal with it, man. I don't know. And, and like, the, the, are we getting a call? But no, nah, y'all know, bro. I purposely avoid regular toilets, even in men's bathrooms, dude. I always go to the urinal. If I got a boo-boo, I wait till I get home, bro. <laughs> and that's real. Because I just don't want to see any surprises into the, you know, some of y'all eating. Let me stop. I don't think I want to give my name just yet. Let's see what they say. Hey, Orp, it's Mike. Oh, hey, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Um, I, my phone's been acting up lately. Oh, yeah. snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh, it, no, it even cut out on a client earlier. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um. Oh, I see what's happening here. Uh, anyway, uh, I what see. are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Um, just more Damn, overtime. Damn, Harp, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. I think I would have been happier without you. Oh, no, dude, you sound, you sound kind of thirsty, like... Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. Oh, so you're supposed to be on the trip too, huh? What's going to do? No worries, Harper. Work? I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Hey, I was thinking since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Are you a? Are you an ex? That's a. That's an odd thing to say, bro. I. It's, it's just his wording that sounds off to me, man. Plus, I'm playing a Fierce to Fathom game, so I'm a little bit more skeptical. I got to say that. No, given what happened. Anyway, sure. Great. Man. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. And if I don't? Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Oh, okay. Things haven't been going very well for her uh hang up is crazy let's let's not it'll be, be just like the old college days 
You always had a knack for finding the best spots. Okay, this dude is... Okay. Right, right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. Sure. All right, talk to you later, Harp. Yeah, that's... You never want a phone call to drag on, bro. You, you got to know how to get off the... Is that an EpiPen? All right, so I'm supposed to be Airbnb. Is there more? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see what they did there. Rent a cabin. I was like, rent a cut. <laughs> uh, where are you going? Wordbury. I'm just spamming random keys on my keyboard because it's autocorrecting. Okay, under $100 a night, you said? Man, I hope y'all ain't finna have us in the trenches. Who is paying $249 a night to stay there? Private room in nature? You're my I'm not gonna lie. Looks like Frank from Life is Strange would live there. <laughs> I'm not really into that. How does this one cost less and look 10 times better? Wow, man. $99 a night. Private cabin in Woodbury. Okay. Okay. You know what? We got Wi-Fi, a garden, TV, a kitchen, fishing, and parking space. Why is it three stars, though? Oh, we can't even look at the reviews. Mistake number one. In all honesty, though, these prices look blasphemous. Some of them. Anyway, man, let's lock in. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay. The pictures. Nice little bedroom. Whatever that is back there, I think it's a grill and like a picnic bench and a guitar. Okay, we can get a little bit of karaoke popping. A kitchen, living room area. It looks respectable, but where are the reviews? It's 3.1 stars. Obviously, there's a problem with the... Sure, whatever. I guess I, I'm not allowed to be smart. What is our main character's name? Like, I, I don't understand why you decided to let your brain take a day off. Hey. I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace? I'm Sydney Harper. And you're watching Disney Channel. And this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont. Which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We're in a small cabin. Close our shift early on Friday. Leave and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. I don't know, bro. Mike. Mike seemed like he's trying a little bit too hard. Yeah. I think. Why are you smiling at me like that? Nah, he wants to get in your pants, bro. I go. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, Ugh. Look at the booty on this one. <laughs> Michael J. Carter? Wait, wait. Afternoon. Quite chilly out, eh? Nah. I've seen you around, but I haven't had a chance to introduce myself. I'm Gail. Oh, okay. It's not even Michael, actually. Uh, I'm Sydney. It's nice to meet you. You're on the 10th floor, right? I'm on the 8th. <laughs> um, how do you know that? I've just seen you a few times getting off at the 10th floor when I'm home late from work. What do you do for work? Me? I'm a software engineer. What about you? I don't think I want to say where I work. Anyways, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I need to get some groceries before the snow starts. You too. That is awkward. Pulling into the parking garage now, you down? Oh, we're about to catch a flight? Dude. Dude, he has like the old school fro, man. You know how it is with this no fade, just line up right like where the hair stops, bro? And, ooh. Okay, you must be Michael, huh? 
This is just a parking garage. This isn't an airport, I don't think. Harp. Why does the side of his face look like that? Um, hug? Let, hold on, let, let me let it cook, bro. Let me, let me let it cook. That's still how you hug people? Why don't you hug me like you missed me? You one of them dudes, huh? I, I know you're kind. I've seen you in high school around. Where's my hug at? You acting fake. Hey, you know, this is my sister right here. And they were never related nor that close. I'm the boy best friend, AKA side nigga. Anyway, why don't you hug me like you miss me? Long hug? I don't know, dude. I, I, I don't want to give it to you, bro. I, I just, I don't, man. Just a test hug to see if you smelled for. <laughs> okay, that's actually a good response. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Why'd I give him that laugh? <laughs> Fair enough. For the record, I showered just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. <laughs> Chuckle long hug. Okay, whatever. I I'll give you a little awkward laugh, sure. What, what is y'all's dynamic? You look good. So do you, Mike. So. Whatever, I don't know. You can just throw, why did I tell him he looks good? He does not look good, bro. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. Look at his shoes. I don't know, bro, you you long hugging a brother with shoes like that, shorty? <laughs> if I was a woman in your shoes, <laughs> I don't think I would do it. Look at how he stands, bro. You look like an awkward extra on The Office, dude. Like change your stance a little bit, man. I I don't know. Bro, how do I get my bag in this? Throw that thing, bro. There we go. All right then, Harp. Are you ready to hit the road? Let's do this. Oh, wait, where's Nora? Hold on, hold on. She'll meet us there. The route through the city. Through the city? Through the city. Speaking verbally in text message spelling is crazy, bro. The route through the city would have uh, been a detour for her anyway. All right, then, Harp. Let's get it on, man. Let's get over to this trip. Should be a nice, wholesome, fun time, right? 426 p.m. Whatever day this is. It was starting to snow. The storytelling in this game is so cool, man. This was actually a gift from uh, my coworker, Ricky. Okay, man. Said he found it at a garage sale and it reminded him of me somehow. You can see a little bit of resemblance, I guess. It's the cowboy spirit. <laughs> where's, where's the radio, bro? I'm trying to get turned. Not much signal when you're out here this far. Oh, no. So we're far away from civilization and help too? You do know what game we're in, right? A cop car. The speed limit said 25 miles per hour. I know you're lying, dude. All right, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college and now here we are trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. Oh, he's getting philosophical with it, bro. Hmm, we couldn't wait. It's funny how that works, yeah. Change is just hard, like trying to adjust to a new job. Mm-hmm. Speaking of jobs, how's it going for you so far? We're working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. Oh, like like stock market? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Why did they zoom in on the school bus? <laughs> Wait, what is Miss Frizzle gonna hop out of it? I said certified freak seven days a week. Did you see that school bus? See what? There was a school bus by the old house. Maybe it's a project. I don't think so. You know someone's idea of turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something. I've read people do that on the internet. Living in a school bus? Think about all the... Oh! Get out the way, buddy! All right? If you want to live, act like it, Bambi. Oh, snap! <laughs> oh, snap, man! That was really close! <laughs> I 
I can't even say it came out of nowhere because that deer was walking out on the road slow as hell, bro. You shouldn't have even almost hit it. I read on the internet that in Native American lore, um, seeing a deer across your path is like getting a message from the universe. Oh no, he's trying it. He's, he's trying it. It's a sign that we belong together. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that just got awkward. I get the vibe that our character is kind of feeling him though, at least in part. I, I don't I don't know though. It's it's a little He's he's talking like they have a little bit of history, man. I don't know. This dynamic is a little like a little interesting. Um how far is it now? Should be about an hour and a half from there. You know. Driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. <laughs> oh my gosh, nerderiz is crazy. Uh, look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. You really have a way with words, dude. Hey, okay, buddy, get your eyes on the road. You was looking at me a little bit too long, man. You need to make sure we don't crash, sir. Can't fall in love if we're dead. It's kind of beautiful. Almost as beautiful as you, baby bear. <laughs> He just, just looks like he, he's applying pressure. He's definitely applying press, applying pressure. Anyway, 514 PM. It's all good, bro. If you were if you were Duke Dennis, she would have folded for you, but you know, you're not. <laughs> uh yo, Harp, check it out. What's that? Moe's Pizza. Ooh. What kind of turn was that? Okay, dude. For a second, it looked like he wasn't about to turn in time. You know, Harp, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. Did we just get lost on purpose? This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. Oh, we're in the right place. Okay. <laughs> it's like living in the future. When does this game take place, dude? Anyway, I'm so hungry. I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. Plate destroyer. I don't know about that. I've had those kind of days too, where you take down a whole pizza in one go. I, I get it, bro. I get it. Arthur and Harp, Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. Oh, this dude has like the quirkiest personality I've ever seen. Dang, man. Listen to this. Authentic <laughs> Italian pizza. He's even holding the door for us. Come on, Harp. Thank you. Dang, that's got to be an interesting life to just have the, the door held open for you. I'm normally the one that does the door holding, bro. Like, I don't. <laughs> How does it feel to really walk through the door, man? This one else is holding. What kind of snacks are these? Chips, potato chips, super chips. Why do super chips look exactly the same as potato chips? Don't gaslight me with your marketing, bro. What even are those? Sounds like someone box chicken bed. sandwiches. Maybe well, that's not even a box, but cool whatever, dude. Let me see you. Oh, you look like you <laughs> you don't get off work. Okay, bro. You look tired, man. Anyway, how's your day? Oh, how's the pizza? Let's ask that. Pizza's. <laughs> Let me see if I can do an Italian accent. Mamma mia. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. The pizzas are great, actually. I think most might have ruined the other pizzas for us. <laughs> it's our first time in the area. <laughs> I know my accent sucks, bro. I know it sucks. I hope no one gets offended. Oh my gosh. Uh, where are you headed? We are from a way to a conference in the next town. Over with my buddy here. Sup? You look like Frank West from Dead Rising. Oh, I can't wait for that remaster to come out. We just stop to eat whenever the place looks interesting. That's kind of fire, though. This place definitely, definitely, Mikey. If you don't get words right, I'm gonna. I'm joking, joking. Never do that. Anyway, it's a cozy vibe here. 
Best decision of the trip so far. How about you? Local are just passing through. <laughs> um, we're headed to a rental in Woodbury. Uh, we're just passing through, bro. Interesting. Um, I better get back to this pizza. You have a safe trip and take care of it in the snow. Um, enjoy the pizza, dude. Yo, these shorts are crazy. Look like you stole your outfit from Ness on Smash Bros, bro. Do better, man. Lock in. All right, you ordered this pizza yet? Or are you just making intimate eye contact with the worker? Evening, folks. Looks like the colds got everyone craving pizza tonight. You fine folks know what you want to eat? We'll get three slices each. Uh, I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and veggie. And for you, miss? Um, let me get that. What is most special? Is that that three meat? All right, what's your second slice? Mm, let me try most special. And then let me get cheese just in case I don't like that. And no veggie pizza. Margarita? Sounds, I've never heard of a margarita pizza. Let's try something new. Any drinks for you folks? Sprite? That should cover us. Just a piece of the day. Thanks. Bro didn't even ask me if I wanted a drink. All right, then. Six hot slices coming right up. That'll be 22 feet. <laughs> kind of feel like you taxed him, bro. Little Caesars got y'all beat by a long shot. But this is official Italian pizza. You know what? I, I guess I respect it. Can't compare it to Little Caesars because it's obviously going to be better here. At least you hope so. Um, your order number is 27. Just grab a seat and we'll call you up when your piece is ready. Okay. Uh, yeah. Looking for Moe's special. Yeah. <laughs> I've been feeling really special. Walking through the door, let me on the floor. What's going on with you? Got the backpack on your back. Finna keep it a stack. I just spent a dang stack out my wallet like I'm balling. I am calling on you, Michael. Why didn't you pay? For goodness sake, don't you know how to treat a lady? Now you acting kind of shady. Oh my gosh. You look like a big baby. Oh, you. You're the one that made this pizza. Oh my, did I order that? No, that's the veggie one. Okay, okay, okay. I think that's most special pepperoni and cheese. Okay, so I got these three, not that mess right there. Cool, cool, cool. Dude, you've been walking in the same loop for how long? You, you, I think you need a new animation, bro. Oh, you're so close, okay. Um. How you doing, my friend? Not bad, and you? I'm as good as a man can be, my friend. Um, gonna grab a slice? No, just looking for a little help. Maybe I can help you. Maybe you can. But you go in and get some pizza first, eh? Maybe we'll catch up later. All right. You know, I was just trying to be a nice guy. I want, is he asking for help? Oh, you just didn't want help from me. <laughs> you know what? Not my problem, okay? To each his own. All right, all right, all right. So, what's good with you, brother? Long sniff. <sighs> it smell. Oh, my nose feels crazy after that. It smells so good in here. <laughs> Dude, oh, bro. Why do I hear throat sounds from y'all eating this pizza? Escape to read messages? Oh, shoot. Looks like I've been missing out on a lot of stuff. Whoa, voice messages too? Okay. Oh. Oh, we was chatting, chatting. I'll read through it quick, y'all. Don't worry. OMG, did you guys hear about Taylor and Baxter? Oh, let me guess. Baxter got her pregnant, and now they're planning a Star Wars themed baby shower. I can just see it now. A birth announcement that says the force is strong with this one. Mikey. Hello, hello, hello. Did they tie the knot? Tell me they didn't get married. I didn't get an invitation. Mike, you are the biggest nerd I know, other than Baxter. He would totally do that. This is so cute! All you need is love. The Beatles. 
Oh, uh, look at that. Okay, okay. It's too stinking cute. That's goals. Our college friends are moving on with their lives and getting married, and I'm here busting my ass and revising designs for a company I don't even care about. <laughs> Seriously, I feel you, girl. May as well put a bed in my office because it feels like I live here. We're practically zombies at this point. Ladies, I have a proposal. Not the same kind as Baxter. Had for Taylor, but a proposal that nonetheless. <laughs> this dude, bro. How about we find a rental house this winter? Somewhere in Vermont, maybe. We can just chill and relax for a weekend. I'm 100% serious. It'll be like our college days. We can watch movies, eat junk food, whatever we want. Maybe we get high. Oh, we love the weed. I'm sure one of my old contacts could come through. Trying to get the devil's lettuce in the mix, are we? That actually sounds like a great idea. Our own cozy little getaway for the weekend. And basically, they decided to go on the trip. That's how we ended up here. I hope I get to see you both soon. I did not expect your voice to sound like that. You sound like Vilma Dinkley. We've got you, girl. Cheap and cozy. Don't say cheap, Harvey. It makes me sound, well, cheap. We know you're a millionaire at heart, Nora. The fanciest woman we know. Stop! Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. The long and short of it is one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I gotta keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. Oh my gosh. I know Michael is smiling so hard on the inside right now. Dude, he is plotting crazy. He's like, yo, I finally got some time alone with her. I'm gonna make a move. But the thing is though, if, if his move doesn't work, it's going to be the most awkward thing ever to be on a trip with somebody that you know likes you and you curve them. That sounds so unfortunate. I, I just, man, I, okay. <clears throat> so it looks like not too long that they're just gonna be alone with each other. What's this? The owner sent us the information to get in the house and said, let him know when we're there. Yeah, making sure everything's okay. Okay, you know, the, the owner cares about us and whatnot. Cool, cool, cool. It's, you know, it's just some little chill. Uh, oh, it's so many messages. What the heck? Oh, there's the group chat and then there's the individual text. What is this? He was still trying to like persuade us to come. Think of it this way, Sydney Harper. You're like a battery full of power and productivity. I'm going to be real. He was just glazing so hard. I'm not even gonna make y'all listen to all that. He, yeah, I've never witnessed someone who wants to hit so desperately bad. Who knows? Maybe you'll thank me later. Plus, no. Golly. Michael, now, it is true that you miss every single shot that you don't take. But I'm starting to feel like you miss every shot you do take, too. I don't know about this, man. Are you inside the chair? Is that just comfortable for you? You know what? I'm just mind my own business. Can you at least make conversation? Like, <laughs> I was about to say. Did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group? Yeah, it just saw. Uh, looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What can we do? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Order number 27. Uh, oh, my fault, the voice. Order number 27. You folks are right here. Okay, let's, um, you just meant having this nice pizza, right? That's, that's what you were talking about, obviously. All right, folks, you're all set. Thank you, man. I appreciate you, brother. No, no, I did not order that. I am not eating that bull. I am. Oh, damn. This pizza slaps. Dude, are you twitching? I think he's on crack, too. <laughs> Gosh, bro. You, you been on Galaxy Gas, bro? Can't believe Nora is missing out on this bomb ass pizza. I know, right? Why does the eating sounds always sound so disgusting, bro? What is going on? 
Damn, Harp, you actually eat the crust? Yes, I eat the crust. Can you let me eat my pizza in peace, bruv? This pizza sounds just as raw and nasty as that burger that dude was eating in the last game. Most of flashback. Dang, bro, is it good? This ASMR is nasty, bro. It sounds like your burger isn't even cooked, fam. Hey there, my friends. I don't know you like that, dude, but hello. I saw y'all pulled. Oh, I saw y'all pull in driving that nice old truck. Are you just watching who pulls in and taking notes? Not at all, my friend. I just noticed you seem to be heading in the same direction I was. Don't mind if I hitch a ride with you. Where's your car? Who needs a car when there are fine friends like you to pass the time with? Man, if you don't get your old freeloading butt, y'all wouldn't even know I was there. Quiet as a church mouse and twice as nice. So what do you say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down that snowy road? I'm not sure. I'm sorry, bro. I I don't know. Surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Hell, I'll ride in the bed. <laughs> it's my friend's car. I'm sorry. Yo, it's our friend's car. You gotta be shitting me, lady. No space. I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? Dude. You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people meet unkindness themselves, and you best be careful out there. Oh, dude. Are you threatening us? I was about to say, give me some backup, man. No, no, no. Y'all got me all wrong. Sorry, I'm just cold and tired is all. Yeah, thanks. Well, that was weird. No, he's going outside. Is he about to? He's about to steal the car. He's about to. He didn't even order anything. I, I feel bad for the guy. Yes, yes, yes. After all these years, you're still the same old. Okay, whatever, whatever. Is he robbing us? You said that truck was nice, dude. Yeah, he was definitely just trying to butter us up to get a ride, man. Oh, that is kind of sad. He's he's just walking. Did I make the wrong decision, y'all? Oh no, man. Maybe I should have offered a ride. He seemed nice enough. He's just, it was just weird. Like who goes to a pizza place and then begs people to hop in the car with them? How did you get here in the first place? Can't believe I'm making myself eat this veggie pizza though. That pizza was the perfect fuel to last, uh, for the last leg of our trip. Burp? Uh, uh. I hate burps so much. Why did I even click that? Holy, that was good. All right, then. Are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Give me the keys. Harp, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? Take a break while I drive, Michael. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. <laughs> Dang. Basically say we can't drive. How do I know you can drive, bro? You're looking in two different directions. Hold on, hold on. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. And then she says, you'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys. Fine, but there's one condition. What's that? I get first choice of bedrooms when or if we get there. <laughs> Deal, bro. Give me these freaking keys. Don't insult my driving skills. Microphone access, the, bruh. Your hometown station, bringing you the best tools to your house. I crashed. Oh my gosh. Hold on, hold on. Harp, are you okay? You want me to take over? No, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I was distracted. I was distracted. <laughs> I should have just let Mike drive. Oh my gosh. That's not fair. We should be getting pretty close. Remember the address? I think the address was 241 Woodbury Boulevard. Oh. Got the vibes. One of my favorite parts of Fierce the Fathom games is the music, bro. 25 miles per hour? What the heck, bro? I guess. Yeah, it's snowing. You do want to drive slower. <laughs> he freaking beeped at me. <laughs> Dude. Probably feels like we on a roller coaster with me driving this right now. I wonder what this is here. I was out of practice with driving. Sure, I guess. Oh, so I really could have missed my turn. And I know that forever is forever hard. But I still pick up when you're feeling cold. The 
darkest times are coming and you're on your own I can't face the fact that you're gonna grow Without me by your side, it's a harsh thing Your promise is broken, forever was a while I don't know, I think I like the first broken. song a little better than this one This, this song sounds like it's mixed a little drop, weird, I don't know stopping. But it's cool though, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool All the lies that I've been had In the time that my mind couldn't sift through okay. I was walking alone trying to get through And yep. my time was revolving around you what? I was losing the door. I walked up to my crack. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Our bumpers are done. Hopefully, we'd be okay in these old cars like this. You know, the, the old cars are way stronger, bro. I think new ones are made with like plexiglass or something like that or whatever. Dang, where is 241 at? Maybe I should go. Oh, Walk this song is depressing. Find a new home. Hey, bro, turn, turn that sad shit off. I think this is it. I'm pretty sure this is it. 241, there we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, Where, where should I park? <laughs> where should I park? Oh, watch out, car. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. All right, all right. That taxi was not about to... Meet his destination. My legs fell asleep for one second. You almost fell asleep for good. <laughs> it was a quaint little house in a quiet neighborhood. Oh, this is so chill, man. Now I think I'm starting to immerse more as if like, uh, what was it? I wrote it down, 5176. Oh, left mouse on the slide, what? Oh. Why is this piano playing? What? There we go. There we go. I did not know the box like had the the lock in it. You know, I thought it was like one of those like you know technology codes that you put in and it lets you in. What a great place! I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here, right? But I really need to hit the john. Take your time, Mike. While I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough in space in the fridge. Uh, got it, man. Got it, got it, got it. I would have been vibing in this house, but this little ambiance combined with pictures like this, I don't know, it's, it's kind of unsettling to me a little bit. But nah, like if this place had a, a nice like, like fall type scent to it, that would go hard, man. Just chilling with some friends in like a, a cabin or whatever. Oh, this the work. I know you're lying. We, we better be playing Jenga or something. Man, miss me with that. Who do you take me for, bro? Let me tell you something. I do not play with demons. Oh, Mike was inside. I had to stock the fr bro. <laughs> Dude, we would <laughs> we would have got sprayed down like. Okay, we got frozen yogurt. That joint looks trash. We got eggs, probably for breakfast in the morning. What even are those? Oranges, I want to say. Bell peppers. All right, what what meals are y'all planning? Yo. <laughs> okay, whatever y'all are cooking, it's not about to be delectable, bro. I don't know what these ingredients are, but sure. Your mic had a lot in the tank, didn't you? Woo, sorry about that, Harp. You good? Long drive and all that pizza really did a number on me. The smell alone told me pizza really did a number on Mike. Oh, he was boo-booing. He smell, uh, spray no air freshener, dude. Heck is wrong with you? All right, I guess I'll be on my way at this point. I hate to admit it, but I didn't wash my hands after. <laughs> My bad, my bad. Matter of fact, yeah, yeah, let's check out the house. Sounds good to me. Let's see what this place has to offer. Oh, we got like a um, fenced in backyard. Basketball hoop on the tree. That's kind of clean a little bit. Campfire area. Dang, Nora, you need to hurry up, man. I'm trying to get the festivities going. It's getting really cold. I'm finna give you this cold shoulder if you don't shut up. Oh, oh let me throw that thing. Woo! You can't, man, you can't shoot for nothing. Oh my gosh. Oh, she does not get buckets. Barely making it to the hoop when you're standing here is wild. I used to be a baller back in the day.
Yeah, he used to play in ball pits. Anyway, how you feel about the kitchen, dude? Any thoughts? Rocking with it? Can't wait to cook later. When did you start cooking? I'm full of surprises. <laughs> you know what? You are full of surprises, bro. Because it was a surprise how that bathroom smelt up there. Yeah, your colon is real unpredictable, huh? Are you the person who's renting this place out to us? Welcome to my home sweet home. What a lovely young couple. Oh, we're just friends. Oopsie daisy, silly me. We didn't expect anyone to be here, bro. Oh, uh, I was out looking for my cat earlier and I remembered the TV has been on the fritz lately, dear. Just thought I'd, uh, just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again uh, since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. Okay. Speaking of that, now that you folks are here, let me show you around my sweet home right now. I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. Sure. Oh, bro, it's short, man. Also, was a middle-aged man with nervous energy. Oh my god! <laughs> what? Local Times singer Invader from Space reveals truth about nut allergies. Oh, I thought that was going to be some intense. Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in an Amazon jungle. You lying? Oh, this sink doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry. I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom now. Dude, that is funny. Like, I remember the place I used to um, live at, the sink did not work in there. And we had, well, the sink worked, but the, the handles for the sink broke off. So we had to use like pliers to move the handle because it was just a knob. It was nothing to grip on. So yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> humble beginnings, I guess. Look, Harp, this room has a nice ass view. Really? You think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. And we did all this exploring of the house without even, man, I don't know. Sir, can I ask you something? What are you nervous for? Hey, yo! Holy smokes, this is incredible. Incredibly cold. <laughs> bro, it feels like I'm looking at a goldfish through a tank, bro. Glad you folks like it. You look like you're insane. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing, too. All right, folks, let's head back in before we catch a cold out here again. This is a pretty chill house. Here's the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power ever goes out, you can use the flashlight here on my right. Storms like these, you never know. Thanks. All right, folks, let's head downstairs now. Dude, because like all in all, he doesn't seem like that bad of a guy. At least not yet. He's, he's being a very hospitable person. Are you coming down? Yeah, I'm, I'm coming down, bro. I got trapped on the freaking table. What are you doing? Nothing to worry about down here. Just the water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. Hey, sir, what's the deal with that room over there? Nothing you two need to concern yourselves with. Oh, okay, he's not cool. I kind of use the space when it's storage. Renters don't need that space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. Oh, I couldn't open the door. <gasps> Why is he looking? He knows I touched him. Oh, okay, no access to kiss. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. <gasps> Did I mention? Well, no, maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down here. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night. 
said they could hear something shuffling around down here. Not to scare you folks, but if I were one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. <laughs> the looks on your faces. <laughs> Come on now, I'm just joking. Is that good humor? At this point, my creep meter was quietly pinging at around 6 out of 10. Alrighty, folks, snow's starting to pick up. I'm going to hit the road now. Got to find that damn cat. Thanks for showing us around. By the way, what was the name on the booking? I must be getting old. Sydney. Ha, <laughs> Sydney. That's right. A pretty name for a pretty gal. I am so sorry that I put us in this place. Y'all know how that be? Some wild stuff happens and then you get to your friends and y'all start congregating as soon as the op leaves the room, bro. Is it just me? Or is that dude super weird? Very weird. Anyway, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm gonna take a quick shower. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're there. <laughs> Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. <laughs> what a weird guy. Big <laughs> see you in the bed. Oh my gosh, man. I'm not proud to have to admit this, but I couldn't figure out how to take a shower. I had to close the door and then close the shower door. And then it would allow me to take a shower. Regular everyday common sense, but I guess it just doesn't uh activating the game per se so you know whatever guess we'll go see what mike is doing now or freaking nora where are you at can you hurry up you already missing some of the most memorable talking points bro. oh dude he was walking <laughs> speed walking with a fishing rod man watch where the hook is have y'all ever got like a fishing hook stuck in your skin a little bit that actually happened to me recently it wasn't deep at all. It just got like stuck in my thumb a little bit and I had to like, you know, get it out. Hey, Harp, check this out. I found this fishing rod in that shed. Planning to catch dinner? Now that you've mentioned it, that would be a pretty epic addition to the trip. Let's do it. Do you, why, why do you keep getting this close? Why are they playing this music? Okay. Oh snap, I just saw a killer recipe for a baked carp. We'll need to catch three carp though. You, uh, are you up for the challenge? Yeah, let's do it. Well, first things first, we need to find baits for carp. Uh, check out this bait information board. Whenever you're ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're going to catch some carp, Harp. Bro really thought he was a poet with that one. Dude, this is such a health hazard. Oh my gosh. If that gets stuck in your face, you're cooked, bro. Let alone your eye. It, it makes me cringe just thinking about it. For carp. Ah, common carp. So we need cheese delight. Well, let's get it then. Yeah, this is so chill, dude. Let's close it back. Don't want anyone thinking that they have a free house to live in. All right. Why do I have this lingering suspicion? Oh, look at the creek, man. Oh, this is so nice. I hope those carp are biting today. Could you imagine? sitting in a bed and just watching this gameplay bro late night oh i think our hooks are about to cross dang i'm all the way over there I need to attach some bait to look i need to get some more bait there's no way now nah, this sounds like the perfect like nighttime video and honestly i'm doing this so soon because i really in my heart of hearts want to watch somebody play this when i'm going to sleep i'm, I'm just waiting waiting on the game plays to drop bro <laughs> hey reel it in i got the back tell a friend she got some ass bring it in thumb something <laughs> okay hold on <laughs> let me see here i'm gonna get like a good cast somewhere along the way come on come on go go thank you that's a decent position we're good now the thing about fishing is sometimes it takes so long for the fish to actually get caught what the what the oh well harpy looks like the fish are putting up a tough fight huh i did not expect the mechanics oh that's actually so cool man what in the world 
Okay. Did you catch one or no? Oh, he caught one. He caught one. Let's see. Oh. Oh, this is sick, bro. Hey, I caught it. They say whenever there's one carp, there's always more. Am I pronouncing that right? Is it actually carp? But no, the thing with fishing is you have to just wait for the fish to take the bait. They could not take the bait and then you could be sitting here for hours, bro. So that's the only part that's kind of like, I don't know, depressing when it comes to fishing. It's like, what if you don't catch anything? Oh, shoot, I'm freaking struggling. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's the strike. Gotta spam it, gotta spam it, gotta spam it. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, blue gill? Nah, I'll throw it back. That's not what we're going for, man. Ah, this is, I don't know. Do y'all, am I the only person that loves like fall and winter time, man? Like the vibes of those months. Even I'm sitting in the house, you know, like feels so cozy in here. I got all my fall colors on my outfit. It's just, I don't know, bro. Just living in this time is it's so cool. I don't even know how to describe it. It's so chill, bro. Because whether y'all can tell or not, I'm actually a, a very chill, calm person. And when I record, even when I'm excited, like that's, that's still my genuine reactions. It's just, I'm not like that all the freaking time, you know? Like I, I do be relaxing sometimes. I, ain't, I don't always have to scream and yell. <laughs> Woohoo! Whoa. Oh, don't say that, bro. Because if this was Sims, this could be taken out of context. Just one more carp left. You got this. Look at this W moral support, man. Can we have conversation? Oh, uh, okay. Nothing to really talk about right now. Bro, if you was going to be out here making a move, now would be the time to do it. Ooh, look at him trying to juke to the left. That's all right. I'll throw it back, bro. I'll throw it back. Pause, man. You know what I look forward to one day? Being able to take my son fishing whenever I uh, whenever I do have a child. Or my daughters, too. Just whatever. I just want to spend time with my kids, bro. Just want to enjoy their company, you know? Just be an active father and whatnot. I was actually always supposed to go um, fishing with my granddad, but we never got a chance to do it before he passed. And I did go fishing recently though it was it was actually cool still wish i could have did it with him you know before he had to peace out and whatnot but you know glad i got to do it man i was thinking about him while i was out there fishing <laughs> it was nice and i still got to do it with family too so you know it's 100 percent cool bro Dang, how many bluegills am I gonna find, man? Dang, you know, I done brought up my granddad. I'm, I'm out here. Y'all ever just like, it's a family member that y'all lost and you get to thinking like, dang, I wish they could just see how things turned out like as time went on. Like, I don't know, I'm, I'm a lock in, I'm a lock in. All right, Harp, it looks like we got three carbs. Um, you wanna head back and throw these in the oven for dinner? Maybe in a little while? Oh, we can keep fishing? Sydney Harper likes fishing. Who knew? Okay, let me know when you want to head back. It's getting pretty cold here. Come on, come on, come on. Reel it in. Reel it in. Yeah, I'm keeping it, bro. That's a good catch, Harp. Let's stay focused on catching cup. Okay, bro. Look at you. You know what? Let's head back. Could have at least put it back neatly, man. That old guy is going to come back with an attitude. I don't want to see him angry. Over here joking about dead mothers in the basement. What is wrong with you, dude? Well, I'm cleaning the fish. Uh, do you mind prepping the marinade? I don't think I know how to do that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to take a picture of this. Oh, thank you. They, it's here. I, I, let me delete this picture now, cause <laughs> I think I'm too lazy to go to recently delete it. Though I'll deal with it later. Who else can relate to that, bro? I do not be feeling like deleting things twice sometimes. Italian seasoning for one. Uh, okay, paprika. Oh, this dinner might actually go stupid. I didn't know that they were planning on fishing together when they got here. I was so concerned when I saw like what all the ingredients was that they bought. I was just couldn't help but to think like, yo, this is trash. Then I need a uh, yogurt. You said I'm supposed to be making like a marinade though, right? Like a sauce. That's interesting. Sure. With the wrist in the kitchen, bro. I thought you just vanished. 
What the heck, bro? You might throw in the fish in the marinade uh, in the casserole while I chop these veggies. Let's do it. Did you put the fish in the refrigerator or am I tripping? Oh, they all over here. I'm being so goofy, bro. How did I, <laughs> how did I not realize it? Was that all I needed? Oh, that's all I even needed. What was the third one for? We just not cooking for Nora? No, because you get the veggies. Uh, I read it needs to go for 30 minutes at 400. Oh, you were chopping them. Huh. Look at me. Oh, this is this is cool, bro. So what now? You want to watch something? You want to hop on the board games, Jenga? You want to explore that hidden room that the guy told us to not go in? Those carp are going to taste amazing. I feel like I'm saying it's so wrong and I'm probably gonna get cooked for it. While we wait for it to cook, uh, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the room, next to the living room. Which one? Just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some of the next room. Okay, let me see. I am not messing with that Ouija board, bro. So look, you better not even ask me about it. <laughs> I'm glad that you know. I am very much, oh, chess? Ooh. Jenga or chess, man. I love a good chess match. I I love a good chess match. Ah, can we play multiple board games, bro? There's for the viewers, I'll play Jenga, bro. Cause there there's a lot of people who don't know too much about chess. So ah, but if I get the chance, I'm oh I'm playing chess. Ah, tower stack. <laughs> nah, we don't got Jenga. We got tower stack. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be lit bro whenever you're ready heart let's get it bro oh i can actually no way um lean oh okay okay let's let's start in the middle drag left mouse button to draw the loop oh this is stressful <laughs> i love how they did that smooth uh smooth moves heart what you doing? What you doing? I've really outdone myself here. All right. You think you got it, bro? Hey, I, I might make a scary play, man. I might make a real intense play just to freaking do it. I will not get outside the lines. I will make my absolute most careful of decisions. Yeah, I'm that type of Jenga player. I'm making this game look effortless because I'm like that, bro. You know how experienced I am with Jenga? This is how it's done, Hart. Okay, dude. You know, I actually seen some bros do a Jenga match where they had, uh, they had freaking life-size Jenga. That must look so fun, but I don't think I could find where to buy this like specific one they had. But that thing was legit though. But no, when I play Jenga, I be pulling out the like, <laughs> the ones that don't nobody want to go for. <laughs> Sometimes, like in the in the late game. Hold on, this is how it's done, Art. Okay, bro, stop talking all that trash, dude. What's up? You think you're good at this game, buddy? You think you're cool? Huh? If I lose this game, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be so pissed. That move was smooth as butter. He keeps hyping me up every time I go and I'm talking trash. Maybe I need to be more wholesome. I can see the tower shaking already. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's about to really get shaky. <laughs> Yo, this is a crazy play. I'm going for the bottom of the tower. That's just how I'm feeling, bro. That's just how I'm feeling. But yeah, I know I'm making it look effortless, bro. I make it look so easy. I make it look so easy. This is how it's done. Oh, I'm going to show you how it's done. Oh, he took it out the bottom. Oh, my gosh. What a menace. Damn, Harp. Do you practice this in your free time? <laughs> oh, he's cooked. He's cooked. He's <gasps> Goofball. Oh, snap. I didn't expect it to fall like that. You ready for another round? Nah, nah, I think that's enough for today. That's enough for today. Let's switch up the games, dude. We got to play some other things. Harp, you did really well. Thanks. All right. Carp should be just about done. Let's grab some plates. I'm stuck. No. I want to play more. No. No. We need to play chess. I should have chose this so I could. We, we can eat and play chess. That sounds like a vibe, as a matter of fact, right? 
I think our show is about to come on. You want to watch TV while we eat? Miller in Romania, where mayonnaise flows down the river. No way, y'all got Berlizzi again. Water. <laughs> there With go the Berlin in the game. <laughs> gotta keep. This is gonna taste like shit. <laughs> Here you are, anyway, listening to my cooking instructions. Hello, this dude. is the brain of the mayonnaise. We we got to inject it with a little anesthesia to make sure it doesn't revolt against us. It gets very angry once it knows we're trying to cook it. Once the gasoline fully soaks into the noodles. What? It's actually kind of scientific. Bill Nye who? The gasoline <laughs> molecules. <laughs> Bruh. I forgot to get my fit. The, the whole show is about, fire, about to go off at this make point. Make sure to put it out with the fire extinguisher. I can't believe I forgot my food. Well, damn. I was trying to eat off uh, his uh, plate. Damn, like. that's burnt. Uh, but, <laughs> I'm not eating this. But, but, but not to worry. I know someone who will. Who's eating that, bro? Yo, Grandma! Yo, I made you food! Oh, this is peak. No, no, no. It's not, it's not poison. It's not poison. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, bye, Girl, grandma. Kind of... Stay in your room. I don't want you wandering around the house again. What the? <laughs> Get back in there. Okay, I'm glad she ate that up. I wouldn't want any food to go to waste. Anyways, Ugh, I, the I guess Yuck. we can still enjoy our gasoline ramen, which is ready to serve. I hope you will enjoy ramen? eating this as much as I will. Let's eat! Cooking with Jeffrey, huh? Oh, I was done with it. You ain't gonna eat the head? I guess that's valid. Barb, that was some damn fine food. Twice as good since we caught the fish ourselves. We make a great team, Harp. Hey, anyways, I need to check my emails real quick. Left my laptop upstairs. How are we taking a break from work, dude? It's not work. I'm just waiting on shipment details for my new DS. I'll be right back. Uh, okay then. I guess I'll clean up. Since my cows disappeared, I take care of my sorrows with burgers. I haven't eaten anything this delicious in a long time. Katrine, I miss you. Come home. I promise to sow more grass. Yeah, this game has so much personality to it. It's fire. Uh, where's the trash? So you just gonna... What are you gonna do? Take the fish bones to the sink? Oh, you're insane. Oh, you're insane. But when I actually use real life logic on here, it just doesn't work. Okay. Okay. You know what, game? You got it, bro. Need to watch this too, man. Bro, if you don't stop halfway washing these dishes and lock in, what does he want? I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? Knife. Knife. Well, well, shit, I'm gonna hit someone with a spoon or something. Someone under my bed is crazy work. You better not be joking around. Hey, hey, let me tell you something. Walk slow. It's a setup. It's a prank. It's a prank. I'm about to beat you out. Oh my gosh, you're lucky I didn't break your nose, man. My good looks are half my charm. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Let's be fair. But I think his beholders don't have eyes. You, sir, are ugly. <laughs> anyway, I totally got you. That was fun, wasn't it? Whatever. Come on, it was just a joke. You want to go for the next round? Of what? How about a game of hide and seek? Is this nigga serious? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. I don't know. He seems like the type of dude to have a, a super basic hiding spot, though. Like, you know, I'm really just checking around, but I don't think he's gonna do nothing too special. You know, he might be in this clock. What did I tell you? Typical. <laughs> Got you. Hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. Fool me one time, shame on you. Fool me twice, can't put the blame on you. 
Pull me three times. Be signed, no chip. I'm let it rain on you. No kidding, Signy. I really heard something sliding up there. Didn't hear it? Basically, this bum had me go check it out instead because he was too scared. Man, why don't you go? You know how it is. You're the man. You're the first sacrifice here. <laughs> I think uh, my shoulders are too broad to fit through there, Sydney, but uh, one of us really should look. Where are you going to be hiding these broad shoulders, Mike? Seriously, Sydney, I don't think I would fit through. Use that step stool behind you and climb up. You're so... Okay, I, I got a little tripped out when I uh, when I saw my mic. Did he just close me in here? Did you really just do that? Talking about I can't get my broad shoulders in here. Freaking dingleberry, dude. He's so annoying. Okay. Oh my god. Oh shit. <gasps> What's up there? It was just a cat. Looks, it looks like you aren't the only pussy in this house. <laughs> what do you mean by that? It was just a cat, man. Uh, oh, that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. Who are you tapped in with to know where I'm hiding? Who is out here snitching? Is it one of y'all? Is it one of the viewers? Because if one of you are snitching, this is you. And I'm just gonna squeeze until you. <laughs> okay, let me stop, bro. You know what? He doesn't see me peeking right here. Hide in the corner. I'm cut. See, man. Gosh. Damn, heart. It took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. My turn. Close those pretty eyes now. You don't get to flirt? After you didn't look at the issue in the house, bro. What woman do you know that wants to date a scary man, bro? You gotta just handle business. If you die, you just die. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eleven, so ready or not, here I come. Where is this goofy hiding at, man? <laughs> Dude. Dude. That voice actor cooked. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? What happened? Well, hey there. Why are you... What? We know why he's here. He's fixing the faucet. Sure, whatever. Should have told us. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that either. You ever fix many faucets yourself, young man? didn't think so so i'd imagine you don't know what tools you'd need oh uh, how long have you been here you were supposed to be going home why are you okay whatever just got here a couple minutes ago if you heard anything before that it must have been that old lady remember <laughs> do you think maybe you could fix that tomorrow you asking me to leave miss no, Rick, she's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. I, we don't really want to have to call law enforcement. Mike, please let me handle this. Nah, let's see what Mike does, bro. Let's see what Mike does. Ain't no cops coming in Woodbury, son. First of all, I, I saw a cop on the way here. You think they're going to arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem not mine you know what if you folks don't like me fixing the faucet i'll leave you to it oh shoot man he pushed me out the way dang uh let me lock the door <laughs> this is getting just a little bit uncomfortable and again nora is Nora has still not showed her face yet at all in the slightest. That's different. Um, anyway, after locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of 
social awareness. He's been alive too long to lack social cues, bro. This old ass. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. 11.39 p.m. Oh, nah. What, dude? Who's knocking at my door? It's just Mike. It's just Mike. I don't got no weapons. Nah. <laughs> this game is so corny. What the freak? Harper, still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Sure. Uh, the door definitely almost hit him on the way in. The storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. Ooh. I hate that Nora's out there all alone. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. What? <laughs> hey, it's no problem at all. You guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? Yeah, it would have been kind of you to start by looking in the attic when you heard a noise. I don't know, man. What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. I know, right? Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. He, he does? <laughs> he does own it. Nothing you say makes sense, and I'm getting scared because of it, bro. You're making me uncomfortable behind the screen. I can't imagine how she feels. You know exactly what I meant, Sydney. He shouldn't just barge into place whenever he wants. He rented the damn house. I mean, the guy is probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. You've also been a little difficult to deal with. Be smooth, bro. Don't don't say that. Don't say that. I really need to sleep now, Mike. It'll help if we both get sleep. Yeah. I know you're lying. Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? What the? F Leaving me already, sit. <laughs> Hell no! To the no, no, no! I feel like that's that's the real thing to do with this situation. I ain't gonna lie, but it's his car, unfortunately. I told you I'm trying. Nah, man, I ain't trying to sit next to you. Why do you want me to sit? Why are we doing what this guy says, bro? Harp, you know, I've missed this. Us just talking, it's been too long. You know, you don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Would you be, would you be doing this if Nora was here? Think about that. Think about your actions, Buster. I know you wouldn't. You act like you don't remember the trip to Oregon. Well, I guess Press Lex remembers. Bro, I gotta turn off my stream stuff. Can you go in more detail? If it happened, then I guess I remember. Oh yeah, do tell. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward though. Like we had a lot to drink, things happened. That's what it is, okay. Live your life how you want to live. My personal advice, you 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 shouldn't be busting it open wildly, bro. Cuz let let me ask you this. Do you think if she was sober and saw how he's acting now, she would have still done that? That's why you shouldn't let yourself get so so drunk to where your decision making is impaired, bro, cuz unfortunately, you you let him hit. He's weird. He he's weird. This blows. They sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. Oh, dude. That's his response when she said things happen. Oh, Mike, I don't know what to say. I guess I've been meaning to talk to you about that. Shoot, let, let's talk about it. Tough conversation. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Um, I don't think this is a good time. What is, hold on. Guys. I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury and my stinking tire just blew out. W cock blocker. Yeah!
Let's go. Thank you so much, man. Oh, Nora, thank you. Pond? The Can snow pond? is like half of a deep, and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? This voice actor is hilarious. Okay, actress, I meant. Um, what a timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Let me get dressed and I'll meet you downstairs. No, we can't. We better get ready. Get ready now. Get ready. No, Sydney, you stay here and get some. Who, who, who made you the boss of me? You stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our ass. Come on, man. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm sure you're in pajamas and I'm still dressed. You just settle in and I'll go help Nora. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Oh, you stink! Dude. We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. You really feel like we have to. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look. Make sure you care for yourself. All right. Lock all the doors. Sound like my dad. You blame me? Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back, I kind of need one right now. Man, if you don't get your... I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up, and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. 12.39 p.m. Or a.m. My fault, my fault. Okay, man, I think I... Dang, you spamming, ain't you? Someone was at the front door. Hold on, hold on. Oh my gosh. The realization that someone was outside this late at night was horrific. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, alert the hiker? I saw you there, my friend. <gasps> Please open the door, I'm freezing to death out here. Oh, the hiker who saw me. Please text somebody, somebody, anybody, anybody, anybody. Do they actually expect me to go open this door for this mysterious? There is no way in H-E double hot E sticks. You believe I am about to let you in. He is insane. And you're outside the house talking about, I saw you there, my friend. The freak. Hello? Look, friend, I know it ain't ideal banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was pounding on a ride from some friends, but they're running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. Yeah, you can sit on the porch. Thanks, but I was hoping you'd let me wait inside until my friend gets here to me. You're not coming in. Are you fucking kidding me? You gonna let me freeze to death out here? <laughs> oh my gosh! You got so aggressive! I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. I should have known you'd be as big a bitch here as you were at the pizza joint. What? You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time. But it looks like you're still unkind. Oh, dude, what? Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see your fellas truck out here either. I'm dialing 911 now. Fine. Suit yourself. Heck no, heck no, heck no, 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 You'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. Karma's a bitch, my friend. Well, I'ma at least make sure it's beautiful. The man outside the door seemed irrelevant compared to how tired I was. You can go to sleep after that? Nah, man. My nerves would be too bad, dude. <clears throat> That's again. I, I forget when I play horror games, I gotta, I gotta turn my brain off, bro, cause it's. No, no, no. I think he got Michael. I think he got Michael. I think he got Michael. That's the payback he was talking about. 
Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> no, I heard him scream. Do a snowball? At this point, I had no choice but to call. Yeah, yeah, you might want to call for help. Text Rick. Oh, Rick, sorry to bother you, but can you come? There's somebody we met driving down there. Uh, he's banging on the door, started threatening me. I'm pretty scared, and I think I hear him moving around outside the house. Would you please come look since you live so close? Somebody got dropped outside, bro. <gasps> oh, that's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. Okay, that's him. That's him. That's him. Yes. Yes. Sir. Open the door. Despite how strange Rick had been, seeing him was a relief. Open the door, miss. It's me. Something's not right. Something's not right. Maybe I'm being really skeptical, but I just heard someone get knocked out. Nah. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. You you might need to explain that, bro. Or maybe he's just here. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I'll open the door. I don't have much of a choice. You have that hammer. Thank you. What the hell is going on here? Oh, thank God you're here. Yeah. Explain the situation. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. Oh, that's not his voice. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Let me see that hammer, bro. Hold on. Hold on. Let me find out you was getting active. By the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. He should be back soon. Mm. So you're all alone here right now, huh? Yeah, but my friends will be back soon. What the? F Why is he moving like that? Why did he start moving like that? What? You're freaking me out, man. Storms like this brings out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. Oh, so this isn't the first time this has happened, huh? Rick, come back over? What do you mean? I live in bro. Dude, feel safe opening the door. the brittle in weeks what now defying all common sense and brain power you actually have to go back down there and speak to the guy to progress the game forward there is nothing that i want to talk to you about sir i quite frankly don't care who you are or what your goal is rick was in the house no dude no dude talk to me talk to oh my gosh everything okay miss yeah i'm cool Awfully late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? You're not Rick, are you? Who are you? It's my friends, they're almost here. Is that so? Yeah, thanks for coming by, though. I'll be fine now. You can head back if you want. You sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around. Make sure everything's really okay. You're not Rick, are you? What did you just say? While he has a hammer in the hand, is crazy. V is my house. <laughs> okay, let me lock in. This is my fucking house. I will leave it when I want to. Dude, dude, what do you want? I want what's mine. This house and you. You're trespassing. Okay, you need to leave right now. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it will be one of us. 
I know you're lying to me. I know you're lying to me. What? Yo! Who in their right mind would confront the person if you hear that the owner hasn't been here? Why would you confront the person? Dude, you... Oh my gosh, that like, didn't even make sense, the options that I was given. And I tried to run outside, like, what's that supposed to do, hide in the house? He saw me, he knows I'm there. <laughs> It'll be one of us, nah, nah, nah. Nope, 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 nope. That was gonna happen. I felt like that was gonna happen. What's the freak? The man broke in the. There is no way that Nora got us killed. There is no way. Oh, why would you not put your phone on Viber? No, 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 no. Oh, I denied that call so fast. Well, he's about to have a run in with them. Gosh, Mike. Are you serious? Nora, you you just keep. Nora is just dedicated to getting us freaking killed. <gasps> Sounds like Shaggy. <laughs> Wait, are you all right? Just got done talking to the other guests on the phone. Okay, good, good, good. I've called 911. Let's go, bro. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Well, I don't know. I hope y'all can fight.
did he knock down the door? That old man got some power. Old head strength is crazy. What? <gasps> he ran out the bag. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you going to pay for that or what? Dude. Dude, he escaped out the back of the house. That is nuts. That was so good. I told them everything that had happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived, and of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. Dude. On our drive- Is that mad in my room? Like, stop, bro. Let me immerse. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in the cabin when it wasn't being used and planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seemed to think there was more intent behind the man's actions aside from just robbing us. Rick asked me what the man looked like and after that he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on. But in the end he gave us a full refund. Mm-hmm zero star review yeah nobody stay in that house bro nobody stay now imagine we could have avoided that if we just looked at the reviews <laughs> literally oh neb that seems like the name of the artist that's doing that well y'all that is the final news reporter queso and i'm dante really how did i not hear them i should have paid more attention dude what wow man that is the last and final installment of Fears to Fathom. Absolutely a banger series, dude. Very memorable. One of the like more memorable indie horror games that I've played. I've had such a great time with this game, these games. And there's a part of me that even slightly wants to go back to do the original first one again just to experience like like home alone one more time i don't know but these are really fun games and yeah we appreciate your effort ray ll let me know y'all's thoughts please do like the video if you enjoyed if you're new here feel free to subscribe make sure y'all take care of yourselves ah and i will indeed catch on the next one bros and sisters <laughs>